yoga, it's important to be as relaxed and comfortable as possible. So we're gonna provide a support for Cindy so that she can relax back and still be a little bit upright. Now I've got a stack of firm blankets here and they're stacked to provide an inclined plane, which will also make it possible for you to do this if you have esophageal reflux. I also have blankets behind that keep the stack from tipping over. If you're using blankets and pillows you have at home, you want some that won't slip. Now, Cindy, lay back. Now we want to make sure it's supportive but comfortable. Mm -hmm. Definitely need another one for my neck. Okay. Oh, much better. That's good. Now, being this comfortable, Cindy will be able to do a longer practice. For the maximum level of assistance, we'll need some additional props. And I have over here some gloves. And Barb and I are gonna wear the gloves, which provide us with patting on our hands, uh, the easiest way to accommodate skin sensitivity. So we're going to start with that warming of your hands. Mm -hmm. And I've got my knee under her elbow so her arms can relax. And again, it's nothing but warmth, right? Nothing but warmth. Warmth and release. At this level of assistance, we want to make sure that we aren't using a grip that's going to irritate skin sensitivity. And so we want to work with a palm, and I'm working here instead of with my fingers. More across the pads? Mm hmm. Okay. And so I can come around with that open palm, take a hold, and then very gently extend and stretch while Cindy tells us when we reach a good stretch, but not too far. Good. Good. And we hold two to three seconds and release. Okay. Now, our next stretch is hands together. So we're going to assist Cindy with her alignment, and we're going to come so that instead of having fingers coming around, we're coming in with a very padded, smooth surface to help with the pressure. That's beautiful. You just press gently. Mm -hmm. Very gently, and Cindy will let us know. Yeah, that's good. When she's getting a good stretch. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like I'm doing much. I know, but you but feel I can it? feel it, okay. yes. Yeah. Well, and I think too, it depends on how crooked your fingers are, how much stretch you're going to get. That's correct. And release. And now we're going to move here. Okay. So I'm going to come around, but I want to really use an open palm. So I'm going to move down a little bit so that I can span more. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to open up just a little bit. Cindy would like more assistance on the fingers, she can let me know as we pull very slightly. So I'm padded and I'm just sliding my fingers in between to open the palms. So on the backs of her hands? Right, and you can possibly move up to about here. So what you're doing is holding her fingers in place. I see. And then that very mild padded stretch of the palms, a very gentle opening there. Mm -hmm. And how does that feel? That's, that's fine. And yes. release. Now, after
after all that, how do your hands feel? Good. I feel like they've had a little bit of a workout, which is good. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Not bad. And? Any questions? <laughs> um, no. I just want to make sure that I'm aligning correctly. And That's that right. The pressure where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. But keeping that open grip right. instead of gripping in. Okay. And less is more, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did we do the palms with the fingers on? For the maximum? In that case, I'm gonna move down and then insert perhaps one finger and then. So I'm trying to keep her... The, mm -hmm. This is the palms, the palms together. together. As you move up, separate her fingers, fingers will separate. Hold for two to three seconds. And release. And that's where she can tell me if she wants to stretch further or not. That's right. Okay. And am I putting on too much pressure here? No. I, always, I feel like I'm squeezing. Yeah. That. No, it's fine. Okay. And that's our maximum level.